Hello, hello! Good evening and welcome back to another bonus episode of Pokémon Crystal Version. Uh, in fact, this will be the final bonus episode that is part of this little interlude between Acts 2 and 3 of the greater part of this series. So, two episodes back, we captured Raikou and Entei. Last episode, we captured Ho-Oh, so today I don't think it's too big of a mystery to imagine that we will be going after the final legendary bird that we can catch in this game. Uh, I think a long, long time ago, we heard about a Pokémon that sometimes visits the Whirl Islands, and then when we were in Pewter City, we received a silver wing to go with our rainbow wing that we needed to capture ho -Oh. So I think today we will need to investigate the Whirl Islands a little bit more thoroughly, but before that, there is one more little point of interest that I wanted to make. Uh, you see, I'm gonna go to the Poke Gear and I am going to listen for today's password. Uh, after all, it is after 6 p.m., and the secret word is X attack. Don't forget it. So we're gonna march on in here and go up to the second floor and talk to you. Hello, Buena. Hi, did you tune in to my radio show? Do you remember today's password? Yes, yes I do. Oh, wow, thank you. Uh, what was your name again? Chris. Oh, okay. Come on, Chris, join the show. Here we go. Everyone ready? I want to hear you shout out today's password for Chris. Oh, oh, what was it? What was it? Uh, X attack. Yippee, that's right. You did tune in. I'm so happy. You earned one point. Congrats. And I earned one point. Yep, our contestant was Chris. Thanks for coming. I hope all you listeners will come too. I'll be waiting. So, uh, yeah, here we go. This, this is something new. Oh, your blue card reached 30 points today. That's so wild. Huh, there isn't a prize for hitting 30 points, but, uh, uh, you came by so often, Chris, I'll make you a special deal. How would you like my phone number? Oh, yes, I would. And I registered Buena's number. We now know a celebrity. I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. So, once you hit 30 points without spending any of them, uh, you have the honor of registering Buena's phone number, and now you can't get any more points until you spend some, so I'll do that later. I don't think I really need any of that stuff anymore, but, uh, yeah, I've got all these points. Might as well use them. So, yes, now that we have finished that little aside and seen something that I feel like a lot of people never really get to see in this game, uh, let's, let's go Forward, Skarmory, I need you to fly me to Olivine City. Yeah, it is time to make our way back to the Whirl Islands. You see, we did go there briefly a long time ago. Uh, and before I hop into the water, I think a repel is in order. Yes. Uh, but yeah, we needed to catch a couple Pokémon that were in some way related to my secondary team in this game. So we explored a couple of the Whirl Islands, but not all of them. So, uh, yeah, here we go. We... I think last time we went to the southern ones. So these are the northern Whirl Islands, and they are all connected to each other some way but we didn't have much use of going to these ones uh, at the time. 
Uh, but now we do, because now we're going to finish exploring every nook and cranny in these islands and get all of the treasures that lie within. And, and yes, it is it's very dark in here. So that is also why I have Sunflora. Look at this team. It's been a long time since we've had all these uh, adventuring Pokémon out together. Uh, yeah, how about you light up the room for me? Yeah, now I can see clearly. So we can go down here and, uh, oh, there, there's items out there, but there's also items down here. And I want all of them, including this Carbos. I wonder if I can even use this now. Uh, after a while, you can no longer use the, uh, stat-increasing items. Wait, what is, what is this speed? Uh... Poly, Politoed. Oh, Politoed can use speed. Uh, excellent. Uh, so what else do we have down here? Since I'm in the neighborhood, uh, there's another ladder. Oh, and more items. So many items. Full restore. Might need it. Very good. And a max elixir. Probably won't need it, but I guess it doesn't hurt to have. And here we have a lovely waterfall. I think somehow I might need to find my way over there. Uh, oh. And, uh, and then there's that cave right there. Uh, apparently you can't access it from this side. I wonder how you get there. Perhaps we will find out later. Uh, but now it's time to go up and around this, th this, hmm, suspicious item? No, no? Hmm. I don't know. Looked like there was something hidden there, but this full restore was lying right out in the open. That one was not hidden at all. Uh, repels effect. Ooh, this is gonna be something, huh? But I really don't need to fight all of the crabbies and zubats or whatever might live in this cave. So, oh, uh, this is the way out of many places and the way back down to the part of the cave that we explored earlier. Much, much earlier. Oh, that was... It seems like a lifetime ago already. Found a nugget! Marvelous! Can always use more money, I guess. Now, I don't need to go down there, so what happens if I go over here? There's a ladder. Hidden item? Mmm, ooh, rare candy, and what a hidden item it was! Well, now I have that bit of cave candy. Uh, anything else over here? No. Only the ladder, which leads to an Ultra Ball. Well, good thing I've got that one. You never know when you might need it, and this leads... out of, uh, somewhere else. Okay, I can go no further in that direction. Which means, I guess, this is... Yeah, this is it for this portion of the Whirl Islands, and yeah, if you've been tuning in for a long time, you might just remember this area. Ah, uh, you see, we can step outside and we're back on Route 41, hey! But yeah, this is, um, this is not the correct door. So now that we've been through the northwesternmost door, I think it is time to investigate the northeastern door. Because the northeastern door might just lead us to the destination at which we want to arrive. Uh, we can take a bit of a shortcut down the middle here, past all of these trainers that we have fought and defeated way back in the day. And, uh, oh, repel. Gotta keep doing this, gotta keep doing this, because I also don't want to fight all the uh, tentacruels and uh, mantines or what have you out here. Uh, where is the whirlpool? There it is. I took the long way round. Uh, yes, Politoed, please use whirlpool for me. And there is a door. Oh, I have to take the long way round again. They don't make anything easy, do they? Nope. And I even have to use Surf one more time just to skip across that little corner. You know, Chris, you probably could have jumped that. 
But somebody turned off the lights again. Uh, Sunflora, where are you? You need to turn these lights back on. And item. No, item. No? Okay. Gotta check. And, uh, oh, would you look at that? It is the ladder that we were at just a moment ago. So I don't want to go down that way. No, 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 no. We're going up here. Because this leads somewhere new. Along the top of this little plateau. Where are we going? Where are we going? We got more ladders. We are going in... Uh, pretty deep into this cave. I found a Max Revive. That's how you know they're serious. And all I can do is surf. It's time to surf, and this is where the waterfall is. Wow, it's a huge waterfall! Yeah? Oh, I, I can just- I can just surf on down. I don't need to use waterfall in order to go down the waterfall. Uh, only up, I guess, uh... Yeah, I guess the trip down is much easier. Now, if we go up this way, uh... Huh, I don't actually know where this goes, uh, but uh, the, I'll explore that place later. I don't need to know where that goes, because this is where I want to be. Into the cave down at the bottom of the, uh... Of the islands, yeah. Here we go. You see this? This is Lugia. This is the final legendary bird, and I'm going to save right here. Just in case of emergency, it could happen. All right, everyone. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. Here we go. And once again, with this standard random encounter battle music, a wild Lugia has appeared at level 60, just like ho -Oh. And also just like ho -Oh, I'm pretty sure Lugia knows, um, knows Recover. So how about I put you to sleep? No? Brain dance. Hmm. It, uh, a downpour has started here in the depths of the cave. I don't want you to use any powerful water moves on me, Lugia. So, uh, yeah, let's... Let's see what Nightshade does. What does 65 damage look like on you? Lugia has a lot of HP. Oh, that is... That is maybe a quarter. Maybe. Uh, let's see what a second one looks like. Does this, uh, dip you below half? Yes, it does. Oh, you woke up, did ya? You used Rain Dance a second time. You just love dancing. Just like Suicune before you. Uh, although, unlike Suicune, Lugia is not a water type, although it is very closely associated with water in any sort of media. Lugia is, in fact, a psychic flying type. And I think I read somewhere that's because they considered Psychic to be the type that would denote great power. So Lugia, supposed to be very powerful, was made a Psychic type instead of a Water type. Uh, okay, Ultra Ball, here we go. You know, I do actually kind of miss that about these old Pokemon games, just the unwritten rules that certain types had. Mmm, almost had it, by the way. Like, Psychic were supposed to be very powerful Pokémon, sort of like uh, boss encounters, almost. Or Dragon types were very rare Pokémon that you might not know how to deal with. Again, good boss Pokémon material. Or how Rock types would be your tanks, or uh, Steel types, for that matter. I guess there's only so much design space within those unwritten rules, though. Sooner or later, they'd have to break them. And that's when you get weird stuff like fast rock types with low defense. Still seems wrong to me somehow, though. Uh, Lugia, you are- you're still dancing, okay. I guess you're just- you're just having a good time, and who am I to stop you? Uh, no, 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 we are not using an Ultra Ball. 
We're using more hypnosis, uh oh. Just gotta shake my head, you know? Lugia, why? Why did they give you recover? You know what, why didn't you forget recover instead of forgetting aeroblast? That would be real cool. You know, like if you still had aeroblast, which is an awesome signature attack of yours, instead of having recover, which is an annoying attack that makes you difficult to catch. Well, whatever, like I was saying, this is, uh, this is boss Pokémon material. I could use Thief. I don't think you'll survive two Nightshades. What does this do? It'll be super effective, hilariously. Oh, oh, that... Hmm. I don't know if you'll survive another one of those, actually. Ah, uh, that, that might be too powerful. Uh, do I want you to use Recover now? <laughs> Maybe I do. Uh, okay, sure, here, let's, let's use the, uh, Ceremonial Heavy Ball. And see how this works. Poorly, I imagine. What? Tears! Tears in my eyes! What was that? Okay. Well, Lugia, I guess you were heavy enough for a heavy ball after all, huh? 476 pounds, 17 feet tall. Lugia is the diving Pokémon. It has an incredible ability to calm raging storms. It is said that Lugia appears when storms start. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna argue, right? <laughs> Just gotta shake my head. That was... that was ridiculous. But, whatever. Again, not gonna argue. Uh, if that prevents me from throwing Ultra Balls for the next hour of my life, then, uh, you know, so be it. It is all gravy. So, uh, Max Repel, please and thank you. Let's see where this leads. This leads up. And up. And... W what is this? There's, there's a little door here. No hidden item. I had to check. It, it, there was a slight possibility. Oh, and yes, this is where that little cave exits. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I brought Sudowoodo just in case I needed to dig out of here, you know, if I really got lost. But I guess that's not a problem, is it? Well, that went much more smoothly than I feared. So now that kind of brings me to the end of everything that I wanted to do in Pokémon Crystal version for now. So, uh, you know, before I continue on with my speech, because I do have a few things to say. Uh, I think I'm just gonna head home, and we can, uh, admire the redecorating I've done to my room. So let's fly back to New Bark Town. And here we are, New Bark Town. So let's go upstairs, and I have modeled my entire room to be, uh, obnoxiously pink. I wonder if there's a pink carpet. I still haven't, uh, been fortunate enough to get any carpets, but I did get a pink bed, and I even got a new video game system. And by new, I mean very old. You see, this is an adorable Ness. So we're just gonna sit here and play it for a while. Uh, as I say that at this point, yes, I have done everything that I wanted to do in Crystal version uh, up to this point. Which means that effective immediately, this series is going on indefinite hiatus as I train every Pokémon that I've been using up to level 100. Now, uh, I'm sorry to break the illusion of time for you, but I do prepare these episodes ahead of time. So, I am not recording this live as you are watching. Now, that means that maybe there won't be much of a disruption to my normal schedule, 
Uh, there will be a little bit of a disruption either way. I don't plan on jumping into Stadium uh, in two days if, uh, if it is ready. Uh, but there might not be much more of a disruption than that if I get everything done in good time. Or maybe it'll be months. Who knows? Uh, I can't tell the future. But in the meantime, this does bring me to the end of this episode and the end of the bonus episodes that preceded Act 2 of this series. And I do hope that you enjoyed all that. And if you did, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I do hope that you'll join me again next time as the curtains rise on Act 3, also known as Pokémon Stadium 2. Till then, ta-ta!